Chess friends, as you know DeepMind AlphaZero is a top chess engine of Google, and Stockfish is highest ELO rated chess engine officially. Last day I showed you AlphaZero Stockfish game, where Stockfish had white pieces against Alpha, and today Google Alpha played with white against me. If you haven't seen the Google AlphaZero game, you can check it out, in the description. And chess friends, you can suggest me any popular chess games like Tal Fischer, Kasparov and Carlson, tell me in the comment box. Google started with d4, we have knight f6, c4 by alpha, in this position, I suggest you to play e6, then d5, but d6 by my command function, we don't have any freedom to choose our favorite opening, black want this, anyway knight c3, we have e5, he pushed the d-pawn, you might think c6 is best move, takes, then knight takes, but if c5 happen, then white will play e4, building center structure like this, so, in this position, I played knight bd7, e4 by alpha, and knight goes to c5, alpha can play f3, then bishop e3. Queen here, knight e2, g4 h5, then play castle, knight g3, this kingside pawns will be very aggressive if black dare to play castle. But, in this position, alpha chooses to play queen c2, we have a5, bishop goes to e3, bishop develops on e7, h3 by white, we have castle, bishop takes, d captured c5, castle by alpha, bishop comes to d6, king slides on b1, top line, getting out from this diagonal, bishop comes to d7, a3 by alpha 0, g6 by me, I don't know why I played this nonsense move, I had queen e7 to play, maybe I want to looking for h4, king here, and as a long term benefit, I have knight h5, then f5. Try to open the position like this. So, we have bisop to e2, queen up to e7, g4 by white, we have king g7, you might think g5 is the best move, but it's not, let me show the variation, if g5 happen, then knight h5, if you say, wow, I got the knight, g takes h5, I makes double h pawns, but black can manage it, queen is targeting this, f5 is potential attack, king to h8, king will be safe in there. So, back to the position, we have knight f3, rook f goes to h8, rook comes to g1, c6 by alpha, knight back to d2, h5 by me, he locked the position by g5, knight back to e8, alpha played knight f1, he want to play knight e3, then knight f5, if pawn takes knight, then e takes f5, connected pawns are best friends, white will threat this, and the white diagonal will be open after pushing the pawn, white will get some advantages, because rook is supporting this pawn behind from it, knight can come here. So, I played queen d8 first, h4 by alpha, Queen slides on c7, king goes to a1, you might think, why black does not take the pawn, then takes, then push the pawn, b4, try to open the b a file to create pressure to the white's king, but it's not so simple, if c takes d5 for happen, it's not c takes or e takes pawn, it's knight takes d5, you have to move your queen, then knight here, white position gets better, if black plays b5, try to open the file which is a bad idea, because even if you successfully open the b-file, you have no attacks on this diagonal because your knight and other pieces is far away, therefore white will play queen c3, knight here, targeting the bishop and pawn, f4 potentially. So, back to the position, we have king g8, knight goes to g3, rock comes on d8, rook goes to d1, bishop back, queen here, queen b8, my position is very passive, because I have low space to move my pieces frequently. Queen here, knight here, queen e2, bishop here, bishop g4, knight goes to f1, knight goes to e3, bishop comes to c2, rook up to d2, rook goes to g1, queen slides on g2, rook here, then queen g1, bishop, knight, queen up to f2, knight on e3, rook up to d3, queen enters on d2, rook to g1, queen slides on f2, rook to d2, knight here, rook goes to e1, king up to a2, king, knight, bishop goes to a4, rook on g1, bishop back c2, rook here, queen backs, 
and the final move knight back to g2, okay he wants to break the position like this. Knight here, targeting the pawn with knight and queen. So, I played queen c7, knight back to e1, queen back on b8, knight up to d3, b6 my me, pawn takes, bishop a6, knight enters on b5, okay, this pawn is a thief, if you think try to eliminate the pawn, for example, if queen a8 happen, then rook up to d7, because rook c8 was not possible, because of this, so, knight takes e5, rook e7, and boom, black will lose the bishop and the very game. So, back to the position, if you think try to eliminate the pawn like this, queen c8, then knight takes bishop, rook takes knight, takes, 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 rook here, knight check, king, then knight goes to d6, and black will lose the game. So, back to the position, we have knight e5, try to protect that square, queen up to g3, bishop takes, pawn takes, knight d4, a4, king h7, knight c1, bishop c7, king b1, knight back to e8, bishop b3, rook takes, rook takes, knight comes, bishop here, queen c8, knight a2, rook d8, bishop takes, knight takes c6, guarding the rook with the knight, rook takes rook, knight takes rook, bishop backs, king here, knight c3, knight comes to f7, king up to a2, queen d7, knight d5, bishop d8, f4 by alpha. You should not take the pawn because the black diagonal will be open for the queen. So, I played knight d6, bishop here, c4, bishop backs, knight goes to f7, queen slides on c3, queen d6, f5 by alpha, pawn takes, knight back to e3, threatening to give a fork, so, king back to f8, we have queen takes c4, threatening bishop here, then checkmate, and threatening this, so queen d4, end hope, queen e6, sacrificing a knight, queen takes, bishop b3, threatening checkmate, you have to take the bishop with your queen. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.